happy day to you, and oh happy day that it is when we come to know who our God and Savior really is, when we understand His plan, when we understand God's intentions for humanity. You know, you stop and you take inventory and you think and you should examine yourselves to see whether or not you are in the faith. And you ask yourself the question, why do we serve God? Well, we serve Him because we love Him. We love Him because He first loved us. That's the true motive for living for God. So many people, when they hear about the ultimate restoration of all things, that Jesus Christ saves all in the fullness of time, they make silly statements like, well, why are we serving Him then? Really? I mean, are we really going to ask that question and really say that? Why are we serving Him? And you see what that does is expose what's in our heart that would be wood, hay, and stubble that needs to be dealt with. If we're only serving God and His Son Jesus because we're afraid of what's going to happen to us if we don't, that's not love. That's not a true basis for salvation in a relationship with God. For those of you that are married and you have a spouse, why do you stay married to that person? Why did you marry that person? Hopefully it would be because you love that person and you want to have a covenant relationship with that person. Until death do you part for the rest of your life. Well, that's a microcosm of the macrocosm. That's a small picture of the big picture. We're the bride of Christ. We're married to Him and we love Him because He laid down His life for us and He loves us. The whole thing is about agape love. And as Paul brought out in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, that great chapter about love, everything that we do must be examined by this agape love. Because even if we do loving things, but we don't do them for the right reason, and our motive is not the love of God, well... It's going to have to be dealt with and it's going to have to be corrected and it's going to have to be exposed and brought to the light to see it for what it is. The Apostle Paul said, even if you give yourself to die as a martyr, to be burned at the stake, but you don't do it in love, it would profit you nothing. Now abides faith, hope, and love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. And God is love. And God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. This is what we need to understand. And this is why we're serving the Lord. This is why we're walking with God. We love Him because He first loved us.